Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Advance Wars Days of Ruin. Last time we fought the beast in an aerial, well, mostly aerial for us fight, and pretty much destroyed everything uh, that he had, and, well, it didn't seem like it was going well for him. And we were able to get inside of the facility thanks to Isabella. This time, well, let's see what's going to happen in Chapter 10. Almost home. There are ten levels to the shelter. They're all clear. How about the medical facilities? The medical bay is in D-Block, Sector 1, sir. It's filled with antiviral medicines and the latest medical equipment. The government spared no expense in its preparations to safeguard the political elite. I hear you, Lynn. Now let's get Isabella and the rest of the civilians here. In here. On the double. Right away, sir. Captain! The rear guard's under attack! Looks like those raiders are back again! What? Someone want to explain how they snuck up on us? I... I don't know, sir. They didn't appear on radar. That's just great. What are you standing around for? Let's move! It's those raiders! We're done for! They'll kill us all! Calm down. Just follow the evacuation procedures we practiced. Do as you're told and you'll get out just fine. It's all right, Isabella. Just try thinking about uh, thinking of something pleasant. That should help. When I'm stressed, I think of my lab, and perhaps some nice rats or robots. I, I'm okay. If we never give up. Yes, of course. If we never give up, that's the key. Of course, some reinforcements would help raise my spirits, but. <sighs> That, that's all I'm doing for it. <laughs> he, he's just out of it. Those raiders are closing in on the civilians. They're going to attack. <laughs> civilians! You worried about them? <laughs> that sounds like kill them all. War's lesson number one, punk. Never care. Wow. <laughs> Leave them alone. They're not soldiers. They're civilians. Doesn't matter! They're weak! They're defenseless! They're the perfect prey! And that's why they're gonna blade! But why? Why would you... I'm not letting you touch them! We're gonna stop you! Yeah! I'd like to see you try... Do your worst! Yeah! Alright. Well, they certainly are a lovely bunch, aren't they? So, as you can see, the shelter's up here, and, well, it, it doesn't look good for the infantry. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. It's not gonna end well for them, especially with the anti edge just sitting right there. Alright. We're gonna rush to get to this point here. Because if we don't, we're gonna be kind of in trouble, to say the least. And here's the thing. As you can see, they've got their own air units. A fighter jet, duster, and two battle cups. So, you do want to have the missile launcher hanging out somewhere around in the area of your ground units. Now, you've got two dusters, a fighter jet, and a battlecopter of your own, but you still want to provide some form of air support for your ground units. That's why you want to move the fighter jet along with the dusters and battlecopter down there. That way, you can help take care of this, especially with the, the, the war tank just sitting right there. Um, 
We're gonna move the infantry around. We're gonna try capturing this, and we're also gonna move the recon unit hanging out down there. Uh, as far as what we're going to do for taking out some of these other guys, the best thing to really do off the bat is get a tank. You really, we only got one. So, building another one is going to be better out of the two. And, unfortunately, there's no way you can get out of it without someone getting destroyed. It's kind of sad, but there you go. Yes! 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 First blood to the beast! Take them all! Don't let them die easily! No! Get out of there! Do you read? You have to evacuate now! Dr. Morris? Isabella? Please, someone answer me! You've got to get out there! Hello? Is anyone there? <laughs> They're all dead, punk! Your pretty little girlfriend, too! You can not say them! How does it taste? Burns, doesn't it? Why? Why did you do that? There was no reason! Reasons? I don't need reasons. I kill because I can. Now I'm gonna kill the rest so I can, so you can, so I can hear you, you cry some more. How's that sound? What's that? I can't hear you. Come on, Buck. Don't you have anything to say? I want to hear you back. <coughs> Good night. Trying to do that voice is just a little bit straining. I want to kill you. You threaten me, boy? You are right. I had no idea what war was really about. But I get it now. It's about your anger and your fear. It's about hate. My friends weren't looking to fight. They were innocent. You want to live like a beast? Fine. You can die like one, too. <laughs> now you're talking, punk! Now you're worth killing! <laughs> Slightly making it concerning. <laughs> All right. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna forget actually putting them there for the moment. Uh, because I do want to provide. Oh. Alright, dusters gonna need you to come hang out quickly. <clears throat> um Yeah, I'm actually gonna buy a battle copter so I can actually get some more aerial offensive because well war tanks can't really deal with that. The anti-air can, though. That's why we have the tanks. But, as you can see, they're not coming near you. <laughs> this right here is something that... Um, well, obviously, the opponent fears you actually using that... Um, Oh yeah, that's something I forgot. Like capturing, when you go to build stuff with your APC to build a temporary airport or port, it uses the HP it has. That is something I totally forgot because normally you always are going off of 10 HP, so... 
That is something to keep in mind uh, while you go about this. Alright, so... We're going to deal with this uh, probably in the worst way possible, but, you know... We're just gonna roll with it. And we got that captured. Uh-huh. I'm gonna just move one. Uh, duster, you can start moving. Uh, let's start capturing this guy. Moving the battlecopters in is gonna be pretty essential if we're gonna take out all those nasty, nasty bones. Nasty guys. Alright. <clears throat> oh man. It's kinda hoping for some luck there. Unfortunately not. So we're also gonna go for another battle cup here. And now that we can deal with those. And we'll just leave it at that. Hopefully uh the fighter jet won't do anything too crazy. I don't think he will. I don't think so. But it's also quite possible. He's playing chicken quite a bit. That's really bizarre. I don't remember him ever playing chicken like this. He's u usually... Uh, you have to deal with a much more threat, uh, like, big, like, more threatening opponent. Apparently he's just playing chicken for the most part, which is a bit weird. Uh, let's finish capturing that. Um, I did do that, alright. Well, I'm going to have to deal with this in some manner. I don't know how well this will be done. We shall see. There we go. And unfortunately, we don't do a whole lot of damage to that guy specifically. But I do have some battle captures that can bring in the hurt, which is going to be a good thing. Yeah, yeah. No. Well, I don't know. I don't know the best way to put some of this. Uh, let's... Okay then, apparently supply is going to be the first option on that. <laughs> I meant to continue the build, but whatever at this point. Alright. Gonna leave the recon there. Uh, start bringing in the battle... Uh, the tea capture a little bit. We're also going to... Yeah, for the safety of, you know, I need to not press things as quickly as I do. I did not mean to build that, but we'll roll with it. <laughs> I'll make it work. Well, you blew up one of the dusters, but you got destroyed yourself. <clears throat> Good night. Oh. Well. That happened. 
That's not what I was expecting. Uh, say goodbye to that fighter jet, though. Boom. Alright, so. I'm gonna have the Duster retreat. He can't do anything in that state, and he's pretty badly messed up. Uh, and I'm also going to have the fighter jet come in and take care of the duster. Well, apparently not, because he can't take it out. Uh, I'll have the anti-air just do a lot of damage. Uh, pretty much everything else can kind of take care of it. I'll have the flare start pinging down the infantry units. Uh, finish capturing. And I'm actually going to go in for a strike on the anti-air. I don't know how well this will work out, but we'll see. Because I'm going to have the Battlecopter take fire at the <laughs> artillery unit, because good night, that thing is being annoying. And we'll deal with the annoying infantry unit there. Not like it's actually been annoying, but you know, again, we're just rolling with it at this point. And rocket launched. Uh, right. Uh, no damage, really. That's not good. All right, we took care of that guy. We're gonna drop off our inventory hanging out there. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's do a good bit of damage to the recon because it's actually going to do more damage to uh, just units that we'll have. And we'll also. Okay. Here's the thing you can build another duster. And that would take care of a good bit of things. But it won't take care of the fact that I really do need another tank. We'll buy a tank, and we'll save the rest of the money. Oh wow, he's really... Yeah, I forget war tanks are actually pretty decent against battlecopters. It's a weird thing. Usually tanks are very, like, not as good when it comes to fighting battlecopters. So it's a bit of a weird thing to see them actually be decent against it. Alright. And then, okay, you're sending in your battlecopters to deal with mine. Oh, I'm glad I built the tank because good night you took out a took out both of them. All right. <laughs> well, I'm gonna drive my tank in. Almost there. Uh, we'll move the duster in just to get a fuel supply because it'll need it. Uh. 80 or 53. Uh, I'm gonna go with the 80. Oh, um, I don't know if I ever mentioned this either. Uh, the color that keeps flashing that's surrounding the percentage, uh, that tells you how good or how bad their counterattack will be. Uh, if it's flashing blue, it means their counterattack's pretty weak. But if, like, it's in this case and it's flashing yellow, that means. Well, they're gonna do a pretty good amount of damage back to you. And then there is this. Uh, well, 
I, I think it's pretty obvious what's going to happen to the flare if I do that. But there's also a red. And red is essentially, hey, you try this, your, your unit's dead. Why are you even considering this? <laughs> but yeah. There is that option. Alright, well... Let's do one of these. I'm gonna back up, have the Battlecopter come in and do some damage to the mech unit. Uh... Thirty-three percent. That ain't bad. Forty-five. All right. Let's send some missiles their way, dealing a ton of damage, and we're gonna have a bomba, a giant bomber that's going to destroy everything. Also, uh, we'll save the rest of the money. Alright, let's see what the beast is capable of, which, granted, isn't much, but we'll kind of roll with it. Oh, oh, well, so I can buy the flare. Uh, yeah, I'm a tank. I can kind of deal with it. Goodness! <laughs> they did not like that infantry. Alright, well... Oh. Alright, you're gonna capture. I'm okay with that. We're gonna build. Finally we finished building it. Uh, we're also gonna say goodnight to this tank because, well, you're not going to exist anymore after this. Uh, um, yeah. So, I'm going to roll up and then throw some missiles that tank's way. Uh, dishing out a good bit of damage, too. How about that? 28? Mm, could be better. Uh, 47 is a lot better. And we're gonna kinda roll back and get the heal there. Uh, we'll also deal with the rest of this recon unit. Drop our infantry off. Finish capturing. Uh, we'll pull back the flare, because there's not really a reason to have him out. And we'll take care of the rest of this tank. Now we have a level 2 mech, which makes him a little bit more of a force to be reckoned with. Alright, so... Since there's mountains in the area, this guy cannot follow us. Honestly, that'll be our best bet for this fighter. Uh, that way he can eventually make his getaway. Although he can't make much of one, he can still kind of make one. And we want to provide the way out. So that would be the best option there. Uh, also, I want to build another duster. Because <laughs> that will be useful. Um... What's with all the anti-air? There we go. Dealt with that pretty well. Somewhat. And... We'll see how this goes. I don't think that... We... Okay, that actually did a lot less than I thought it would. Yeah, that's not... <laughs> that's not surviving. That isn't either. 
good night. Okay, he's pushing back pretty bad. Or pretty well. So, I need to do something. I do have a bomber that can really do some damage. So, here's a... And I'm probably going to lose a lot of um, technique because of the fact that he was able to push me back. Uh, so... I'm going to be aiming for doing a lot of damage, aka power, and I'm going to try to also complete this a little bit, like, not, like, instantaneously or anything like that, but I'm going to try to finish this quickly. That way I can hopefully get some, a little bit better speed. Um, 89 damage. Uh, and I got plenty of other things that can actually hit it. Yeah, I'm going to go with taking out the uh, anti-air with the other units that I've got. Because this would be a much better way to go about it. And then have the bomber take out the big problem. And make sure it doesn't come back to cause a problem. Uh, I'm actually going to move that there, move the duster on the temporary airport. And just for fun, move my duster down here and start firing away. And we will also move a recon unit up here to try to take care of the infantry unit. And we'll also go I'm gonna go for another tank. Damn, this is rude. He kind of failed at that turn, but I'm not going to complain. Alright, I'm going to take care of this anti-air. He's going to cause a lot more problems if I don't. Um, we can start capturing this. Start rolling in the tank. The tanks. Okay. Because there we go. Oh, well, yeah, that that could be a problem if I don't fix that. Let's fix that. <laughs> there we go. He's got all the stuff he needs. He is good to go. And the battle copter's done with. Let's have the duster take care. Well, the hurt duster take care of the very badly injured infantry. And let's take care of the mech as well. As you can see, dusters are pretty valuable units. Um, even though, as far as like. How I wouldn't say 
weak, but as far as their firepower, it is pretty low, because even you can, as you can look at this, it tells you that they're weak against infantry vehicles in air, but they still do a decent amount of damage to where you can, it, it's still worth actually purchasing them, because they can attack land and air units, which for an airplane, not a lot of them can actually pull that off. And the thing is, is they can f attack fighter jets. Very few uh, air units can attack fighter jets. Or, or bombers. That is just something that's unique to the dusters, that the fact that they can attack land and air, and they can also attack planes. Because even helicopters can't. They, they can attack land and some air, but not all the air. The air units they are able, capable of taking care of is a much different caliber. They can only take care of helicopters, or well, other helicopters. But they can also attack sea units. It's, it's just essentially... This is kind of one of the things that I love about this game, is that the units that you can build each have their uh, unique reasons of why you should build them. And kind of in the sense of it, it's like each has their own purpose, which is a good thing because it, it has it to where one unit isn't so overpowered you should like always buy this unit over another because the thing is is one of the units you can get well it could possibly overpower one of the stronger units because they just happen to be weak against it like it, fighters if you have it, it would take a little bit, don't get me wrong, but you can actually have dusters that take out fighter jets because you have enough firepower to pull it off. Especially if you have level 2 and veteran dusters, they can seriously take out the air quite well. Alright, well, he's trying. Uh, he goes for that. Alright. A reasonable purchase. Not one I would make, but a reasonable purchase nonetheless. Well, we're gonna say goodbye to that transport copter. We're also gonna take care of the unfortunate foe that we've got hanging out. Have the bomber take care of that anti-air. And we'll have the tank take care of him. There we go. <laughs> My little experiment has come to an untimely end. Oh well. You served your purpose well, my savage beast. I'm quite satisfied. But you are no longer of any use to me. You may continue dying. Hello? Is anyone there? Did anyone manage to survive? Hello? Hello! Dead. I failed them all. Don't be so quick to bury us, Will. We're just lying though until we could be sure it was safe. Dr. Morris! No time for lollygagging. I've got wounded coming out of my ears. And Isabella is fair and poor. Oh, we actually got an S out of that. 
Oh, yeah. I'm glad I actually went it to the for a faster push as well as a little bit more power. But that faster push actually really did push us over for the S rank. That's good. You must never give up hope. No, we should not. Well, Mr. Beast. I spent more money. <laughs> over the course of the 11 days, I spent more than he did. Oh, I knew I was making more. But, well, that's a thing. The wounded are in the sick base, sir. The civilians came through largely unharmed. Where's Will? He's with Isabella. Her condition has deteriorated badly. She was hurt during in the skirmish, and the virus continues to develop. Will she make it? It's touch and go. She's in Dr. Morris' hands now. Come on, come on. What's taking so long? Will? You're still here? It's been hours. How is she, Doctor? Is Ill Isabella alright? I'm sorry, Will. Try and calm down, alright? I don't know if I'm the right person to tell you this, but... Oh, no. Please. Dr. Morris, it can't be. It can't. Listen, I... No, I don't have the words. I... I think I'll leave it to Isabella to tell you how she's made a full recovery. <laughs> Will! Isabella! I'm... going to be okay, Will. I owe it all to Dr. Morris's help and everyone's kindness. That's great news! It is, isn't it? You're a real piece of work, Doc. Why didn't you just tell the boys she was better? Come on now, Captain. Where's the drama and all that? Did you see the joy on Will's face? I felt like the director in one of those TV medical dramas. <laughs> Unbelievable. May I assume Isabella is no longer contagious? You may. The virus incorporated in the nucleoside analogs and to its genomes halted its life. Stop. Is she okay? Or isn't she? You are a most impatient man, Captain. Yes. She's fine. Although I must confess I had my doubts there for a while. She was on the verge of death, and then well, something changed within her system. I was recovering from my surprise of voila! I can offer no explanation for it. Why not just call it a miracle? Sounds like, sounds to me, Will's prayers were answered. That's the all, that's all the explanation I need right now, there. I'm a man of science, Captain. Miracles are not something I deal with. However, truth be told, I'd rather... Uh, I'd rather superfluous in that I truly do not... It, I'd rather superfluous in that I truly did not... Uh, did nothing to heal her. One thing I can say for certain is that she's cured. So, hip hip hurrah! Oh, this guy. Where have you been, Brenner? I've been waiting to hear your report for hours. Calm down. Everything's fine. The girl made a full recovery. The girl? Who said anything about her? I want to know about the food. The factory is in working order. Will we be able to grow crops? Yes, that's what I've been told. You'll be happy to learn you don't need to worry about food anymore. That is good news. Uh, now, now we've got some additional business to attend to. The civilian representative, as the civilian representative, there's something I need to discuss with you. Go on. It's about this shelter. Uh, do you think it can sustain this many people living here? Uh, I have a, 
we've assessed the situation and we feel we need to cut our population roughly in half. There's... You can't be serious. Do you realize how big this place is? There's more than enough room for all of us. Listen, Brenner. This is a collective opinion of the entire civilian population. Understand? Having soldiers living here is problematic as well. We're supposed to live in fear of being attacked? Is there a point to all this? Oh, that was him. My bad. Well, is there a point to all this? Yeah. Your soldiers have weapons and training to survive anywhere? But we civilians are powerless. This shelter is our only chance for survival. We believe the solution is clear. Am I right, everyone? Shall we vote and decide like civilized men? That's not a reasonable proposition. In terms of numbers, you civilians have an overwhelming majority. Additionally, a large number of our people are incapacitated by their wounds. Would you use that to your advantage? Is that the type of people we're dealing with? How disrespectful! I'm not trying to set up a dictatorship. This new world should be built on democracy. One person, one vote. That's what I say. Or would you rather threaten us with your guns and bully us into submission? Okay. Yeah. I'm comfortable with that. Stand down, Lynn. Very well, then. We vote. And majority rules. Does that sound fair to everyone? All in favor of having the soldiers leave the shelter, raise their hands. Come on, let's see hands. I don't think so. Me either. What are you doing? Get your hands up. I gave you the plan. Now do as you're told. But they fought for us. They risked their lives for us. Some of them died for us. We can't just throw them out of there. Out of here. I want them to stay. I'll second that. You listening, Mayor? It would appear we have the cl a clear majority. B -b 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 how can you? What, what are you thinking? Fine. Do you as you please. I don't care. Thank you, everyone. You have my gratitude. As you know, my people and I have searched and been on a search and rescue 24-7 since the meteor struck. Most of the folks we've saved didn't last too long after the fact. To be honest, there have been times I've questioned the value of what we're doing, but knowing that you understand it makes it all worthwhile. Thank you. Well said, Captain. Well said, indeed. So, we're gonna stay here for a while. There's plenty of food, and there's safety in numbers. We can stay here together? Me too? I... I had nothing. I... didn't even know where I was, or what I should do. I didn't even know my own name. You took me in, you cared for me. Now you can say I, live, I can live here with you? Are you sure? Is this truly alright? Of course! Now you, and now that you've recovered from the virus, I'm sure you'll get your memory back. Perhaps. But I really don't need my memory back. I'm fine not knowing what happened before. Really? But... You've given me all the memories I need. I'll never forget your ki the kindness you've shown. Isabella, listen, I want to. Um, Lieutenant, are you... Lynn? Hello? Yes. Ah! How do you do that? And why are you eavesdropping on our conversations? Are you talking about something you don't want me to hear? Well, no, it's just that... That's not the point! It was a private conversation and... <sighs> Whatever. Captain Brenner sent me. We're to report to A Block immediately. If we're gonna be living here, we need to set up some rules and regulations. 
Fine. Oh, we'll be right there. Come on, Isabel. It's time to go. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's a nice, like, just dinner celebration. Just a small little dinner party. And as you can see, it seems like we're done with the, the beast and his army of raiders. But we've got a different foe it looks like we're going to be fighting in the next one. That little mishap of a fight with that warrior... Uh, how far back was it again? Um, back in Chapter 7? Where we had to protect that crazy guy named Waylon. Yeah. It looks like the Blue Army is back. And I don't think they're going to be a happy bunch. <laughs> Just a hunch. Anyway. That'll be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. And let's survive again. We'll survive. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I'm poor to pick for this exit. Thank you all for watching, and let's survive in the next one. Later. <laughs>